And we're back. <laughs> hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, the topic is nudes. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my prized possessions, my personal collection of nudes, my favorite collection of my personal nudes. And no, not those. We're talking about lip glosses. Yup, yup. Um, yeah, I got some six lip glosses and six lip liners from NYX. We, we only do in lip glosses that you can find in a hurry. Beauty Supply, Ulta, CVS. I'm pretty sure a bunch of other places. I always find NYX. Um, it's just my go-to if I'm at a Target, anywhere. I just pick up when I need it. And who doesn't want to spend $4.99 on lip glosses, specifically the butter glosses? Not really a fan of anything else from NYX. Lip liners, good too. Not really a fan of anything else, but these butter glosses have been holding me down for about four years. So I'm like, let me show you guys my lip combos because I get asked a lot. And I'm like, all right, let me get them all together out of my bags. You know when you just be switching bags and they just be at the bottom of every bag? So now I have them all in one place. I'm gonna try to keep them all in one place so I don't lose them. Um, yeah, but let's get into these lip combos and you know, maybe they'll become your personal nudes. We could have like nudes in common, you know? You know? Okay, to start off the bunch, I'm gonna do my least favorite. Cause this is something I really like. This is the color I really like, I just, don't gravitate towards it a lot but it's a beautiful color um this is the color marshmallow Can you it? and then this is the lip liner mauve okay mauve i feel like these could go good together this is gonna be definitely like a summertime kind of lip combo i feel like um yeah um, first thing I did before anything, I suggest using like a balm or a salve or like a lip mask while you're doing your face makeup just so it's not too, it's like moisturized but not like sticky or anything. So I feel like my lips are the right consistency right now, always prepped. Um, I feel like that goes for a good application. So My lips are already kind of like very pink, um, tan pink. So sometimes it's really hard to see. Um, okay. It's kind of like the same color as my lip. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, if I wasn't wearing makeup, I would use this also. If I just had like my lashes done or something. I might even go in with like a darker one, but I feel like this is cute. This is cute for, I wanna say like, like a summer vibe, like a, like a dress, sandals kind of vibe. Um, definitely would do more, I wanna say like natural makeup. I feel like that would be cute. I like this one. It looks really pink in the bottle. It's not really that pink. And I think, I feel like it's just on the nude side, so we love that. I forgot how much I really liked that pink, like that mauve pink, it was really cute. But next we have um, one of my all time favorites, it is Madeline, Madeline, Madeline. Favorite gloss, I've been using that one for years. Um, and we're going to use the lip liner in in soft brown. Okay. Also, would use. If I just didn't have any makeup on. Uh, and I also like to use sometimes like a darker lip liner. 
with this one. But I just feel like this one is just, they're both spot on. So I just feel like might as well. A darker skin tone, um, you know, and this is like too light, like a darker lip liner. We'll really just like blend it out, look really nice. This one's really nice if you put a darker one on it. It just feels like you have chapstick on, I really love it. I really like this one. This is like one of my all-time favorites. It's like something that you can't go wrong with. That's what I feel like. And very cute. Next one is what I'm going for. I really like dark look. Maybe like I just, I'm feeling a little like grungy. Like I just want to put some pizzazz and maybe I want like a bold lip but not like far from what I'm like usually in. That will be Ginger Snap. Ginger Snap Biscuit. Okay. And for the liner we are using. Nutmeg. I like nutmeg, it's cute. I just, not my favorite, these are both of my favorite favorite because they have like a red tint with the browns and I'm not like a fan of like It was cute. It gives me very holiday vibes. It gives me very like plaid skirt vibes, you know? Like chestnuts roasting on an open fire type of vibes. Like burgundy vibes, I guess. Hence ginger snap. Um, I like my hair. Um, very cute, very chestnuts roping, roasting on an open fire, yeah. With a plaid skirt, like a turtleneck, and like some tights, and like a little booties. But like this just like every girl, every girl at Christmas time. Cute. Again, these are all so moisturizing. Literally hands down, the best. Butter gloss, so I love that. Okay, this is my all-time favorite. And this is how I this color is actually how I got into butter glosses. I was introduced to it by my old manager like five, maybe five, like five years ago. Um she's brown skin. So I like looked at her and I was like, I really like that lip gloss, but I'm so what? And then I was like, yo, like I don't know if this is gonna look good on me, but like I had used it and I was like this looks so nice like on me like no lip liner really nice and on her it looked amazing so i'm like wow this seems like such like a universal color so i was like let me get that that was the start of it after that i was addicted so yeah this is praline all-time favorite it's always sold out everywhere where i look like in beauty supply stores but if i'm going to nick some sure it's not but in other places it's always sold out and then this is the only matte pencil i have i bought it by accident and this is in the color sandstorm i wear this without a liner but i because i have this one we're gonna put it to you this is like the color i take out when i know i'm gonna get drunk and i need to make sure i look good all the time and i don't have to like think about reapplying it i could just put it on and i'm like i know this looks good like i know i look good right now like i know right now at this very moment somebody's son is looking at me yeah another thing is to put concealer over your lips if your your lips are this pigmented my lips are just so pigmented already that um, I do have to put like a little bit of concealer on. It's cute on its own actually. 
I put it all in one of And I think this is because it's like, to me, like, it's not a reddish undertone. You might see it like that because my lips are so irritated. But it's so like, I don't know, it's just my favorite. Yeah, it's just like a vibe. It's a vibe. I just feel like you can't go wrong with this at all. And I just feel like this should be your first purchase if you're thinking about buying any of these glosses. Okay. The last two are gonna be like an ombre thing. You could do ombres with all of these except for like the dark colors. Unless you wanna like put a little bit of like these lighter, the next glasses I'm gonna show you like in the middle. I've done that, you know, I just mixed them all up. There's no like precise order. I just kind of did the liners that really just matched up well um, with the ones I was showing you. So, I'm gonna show you a calm ombre. forgot to tell you the colors so the glosses tiramisu and the lip liner is coffee coffee in the morning <laughs> yeah yeah if you don't know that song can't be first. Yeah, this was an ombre. The last one will be. <laughs> this is more like a, like a, this is like more of a mauve. That's what I'm getting, mauve, mauve, mauve. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a mauve. It's definitely a mauve. Um, it's what I'm feeling like Oh, if I did like a really like a mauve eye, like no liner, like just a mauve eye, really cute, really cute. I like this one. I haven't used tiramisu in a really long time. Okay, last but not least, we have fortune cookie. It does resemble the color of fortune cookie, so definitely get that. And this one is Auburn. Obviously, if I was going out, I would put some concealer there. I feel like you really want your lips to be like really like exacto. Um, I put like concealer right here. Ombres, you should get in here because you're always gonna put the light shade in the middle. I like to just my finger and then it go back in. Sometimes when I feel like my outer liner isn't dark enough, you can always use an eyeshadow, you can always use a brown eyeliner because I'm just as dark uh, and I've done that uh, unpopular opinion lip liners and eyeliners are this fucking same thing I just think you can't go wrong with it can't go wrong with it can't go wrong with it all right everybody that's the end of my video I just think that these glosses are just something that everyone should have you know let's say you're out you're on the go you want something that you're gonna be able to find in an emergency in my opinion they're 4.99 you can't go wrong keep them in your car in different bags you know they're just like a good moisturizing i just think you can't go wrong staple item should be a staple for you and i hope you enjoyed my video um and i'll see you guys in the next one remember to like comment and subscribe